The class is silent, except for the ticking clock. A student stares at their test, but their thoughts are all over the place. Their heart is racing and they can't remember what they studied. What a disaster. Have you ever felt stressed or worried during a test? Describe your experience. In this lesson, we'll learn what test anxiety is and how to manage it before, during, and after an exam. Here are the essentials. Everyone gets a little nervous or stressed before exams. That's normal. Some stress can even be helpful and lead to better performance, but too much stress can feel pretty uncomfortable and lead to poorer performance. Test anxiety is a type of stress that can make it hard to perform well on tests. It's a combination of physical, mental, and emotional effects that occur before or during a test and can even linger after it's over. When can people experience test anxiety? People can experience test anxiety before, during, or after tests. Test anxiety affects people in different ways and different amounts. It can cause physical symptoms like headaches, nausea, sweating, or a rapid heartbeat. It can also cause emotional symptoms like feeling sad, afraid, or helpless, as well as mental symptoms like the mind racing, going blank, or getting stuck on negative thoughts. Some of these factors can't be controlled, but understanding test anxiety and taking steps to manage it can help make tests less stressful. For many students, test anxiety comes from a fear of failure, sometimes from past experiences like doing poorly on a previous test. Research shows that perfectionism, or setting extremely high expectations, can increase test anxiety and lead to poor performance on exams. Other times, test anxiety stems from a lack of preparation. Studying too little, or not at all, is a recipe for stress. So is running late, or showing up without the right materials. So, preparing well is a great way to combat test anxiety. Here's what you can do. Weeks before the test, start by staying ahead of the work, and studying a little bit at a time. To avoid having to cram, or learn everything right before the test. Which is the best way to prepare for a test? Studying a little every other day is much more effective than cramming and can help reduce test anxiety. The night before the test, getting enough sleep helps the brain stay calm and do its best. Which activity should be avoided on the night before the test? It's tempting to stay up late studying, but losing sleep reduces brain function and can increase test anxiety. In the hours before the test, it's best to eat a healthy meal with a source of protein and avoid extremely sugary foods and excessive caffeine. And exercising can also help. Research shows that a 20-minute workout can significantly reduce anxiety. To avoid last-minute stress, you can make a checklist of important materials and gather them in advance, like a pencil, calculator, or scratch paper, and then arrive early so there's plenty of time to get settled. If there's extra time, try journaling. One study found students' test anxiety was reduced by spending 10 minutes writing out their worries before an exam. What's one worry you've had during a test? The brain and body are very closely connected, so exercises to calm the body can also help reduce anxiety. Try taking long, deep breaths from the belly and alternate tensing your muscles, then relaxing them. Or try a body scan. Going slowly from the head to the toes, notice how each body part is feeling. Finally, find a comfortable position. Sit upright and relax your shoulders. Research shows slouching increases negative self-thoughts, while upright posture increases persistence, creativity, and self-esteem. Which of these calming strategies might work best for you? There are strategies that can help during the test, too. Once the test starts, try a quick brain dump. Write down key information as fast as possible to alleviate the fear of forgetting it later. Throughout the test, use positive self-talk to encourage yourself. It may feel silly, but research shows that self-affirmations activate helpful pathways in the brain and lower stress. Try saying, it's okay if I can't answer this question. I'll answer another one instead. Or, it's okay if it's not perfect. I'll do my best. Which is another positive saying that could combat test anxiety? Positive sayings like, I trust in my knowledge and skills, can help you feel calmer during tests. Sometimes negative thoughts pop up too. That's normal. 
having positive messages ready to go can help keep them from taking over. If your mind wanders, try taking a mini break. This could involve closing your eyes, taking a deep breath, doing a small stretch. Short breaks give the brain a chance to rest and reset and can help you return with a fresh perspective. As the test wraps up, review your work and remind yourself you did your best. Don't second guess your answers too much. Studies show when students guess on tests, their first answer is more likely to be correct. After the test, congratulate yourself for finishing. Instead of worrying about how you did, think about all your preparation and how you could do even better next time. Not all stress factors are in someone's control, but being proactive can help reduce anxiety in a stressful situation, like taking a test. Remember to prepare far in advance. Eat well and get plenty of rest before the test. Arrive early with the right materials. Practice mental and physical calming exercises. Use positive self-talk and be kind to yourself. Now, try it out yourself. Lots of activities can create anxiety, like trying out for a sports team, auditioning for a school play, or having a tough conversation with a friend. What's one strategy you could use for managing anxiety in stressful situations? Explain why that strategy would be a good fit for you. If anxiety becomes overwhelming, remember, you don't have to struggle alone. You can talk to a school counselor or seek out advice from a mental health professional. Those are the key points when it comes to test anxiety. Thanks for unlocking your potential with us.